This week, we're catching up with two couples who were in the need for speed in the hunt for their dream homes. We used magic. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I'm thinking with my witchy ways. Friends in high places. I think it's a sign from God, isn't it? And hypnosis. I will reject all my prejudices. I will reject any of my prejudices. I'd love to be not between the eyes. <laughs> not sure you're allowed to do that, Phil. <laughs> But would we get them what they wanted? I think without Kirsty's help, uh, we'll still be searching for our property. It's a big project. A very big project. Much bigger than we thought it was going to be originally. Ooh. This week, we're catching up with two sets of house hunters in the Midlands. With bulldozers and babies on the way, it was a race against time for Kirsty and I to find them their dream homes. Kirsty was searching in pretty Northamptonshire for management professionals Rinku and Sunda. They'd been living rent-free in a family property for three years, but it was due for demolition, leaving them just a few months to find a new home. And the clock was also ticking for my couple, Steve and Sally, who were desperate to relocate to Warwickshire before the birth of their first baby. We absolutely love it, the countryside. We're out and about with the dogs every day. We also like the peace and quiet, the tranquility. As much as my pair love the rural setting in Berkshire, they can't afford to buy here. So they've decided to relocate to Warwickshire, where their money goes further. We've got family that live in the northwest and the northeast, so being a little bit closer to them would be great. But not too close, eh, Steve? It means that we're still a couple of hours away. There's not too much of a chance of them popping around for a cup of coffee without being invited. Wonder if Steve will still be saying that when there's a babysitter needed. Sally certainly isn't planning on compromising their active lifestyle. We'd like lots of nice walkways on the doorstep so we can take the dogs out across the fields, places we can cycle around, hopefully near some stables where I can do horse riding. But it's not all play with this pair. Steve's work in the drink industry means that he has a couple of important criteria. It's absolutely crucial that I have a space in the house which I can use as an office or a study. Preferably with a better view. And that's not all. I must have a good local. I must be able to go on the Sundays and read my newspapers and set the dogs with me. Purely for research purposes, of course. Be lovely. Steve and Sally were searching on a budget of 550 grand, but with a baby on the way, they're being careful and have dropped to 475. With a new search location nearly 90 miles away in the villages around Stratford, it's no wonder this search has stalled. So, guess who the pressure's on now? Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You. All Thank changed. You. So you're due in about two months? Yep, just over two months. You've left it a little bit late to call we, me. We, I'm, <laughs> I might just add. I mean, what's been happening over 18 months? Why haven't you found something? We've got quite a strict criteria on what we'd like. Maybe we need to be a little bit more flexible. Would you do work to a place? A little bit, but we're not very good with... Handiwork. Very good at knocking things down, not necessarily good at building them back oh, up again. So. I think it is quite tough for people to search for a long time in one place with a particular budget to then move it to a relatively unfamiliar area and reduce the budget while still thinking, I'm going to get everything. We would probably need your help to guide us in the right direction and tell us where, if we are being a bit picky, we may need to uh, compromise. We're certainly professors of the science of compromise. I just hope these two turn out to be model pupils. With their budget of 475,000, they'd like a three-bedroom character house with office space, a big garden for the dogs, and ideally a village pub for Steve. While I was on the hunt for a good local in Warwickshire, Kirsty was on a search of her own 40 miles away in Northamptonshire. I'm with Rinku and Sunda, who got hitched four years ago. Since then, it's been good times, especially after Sundu's uncle made them an accommodation offer they couldn't refuse. Yes. yes. Good shot. We've been quite fortunate that we've been living in a family cottage for the last three years. We live in such a beautiful house with space. Living rent-free on a 16-acre plot in the genteel surroundings of their uncle's care home, they've settled into married life. Beautiful lines, Sunda and all the lovely space in this house really suits their lifestyle. When we do have you know, social functions, they're not two or four. They're in sort of the masses, and both of us have very large extended family. 
Oh, the food. Fantastic. But their luck is about to change as the care home's expanding and their beloved cottage will be demolished in three months' time. It's going to be a big change because we've been quite fortunate living here with such luxury. They've certainly been spoiled here. It's a situation that could make even the most savvy house hunter a little unrealistic. We're looking for a three to four bedroom detached house. One bedroom would need an ensuite. Two or three uh, reception rooms. A study. A bit of garden. Off-road parking as well. Well, at least they know what they want. We're happy to kind of go in and renovate if we have to. I should hope so too, but I think these two may still need a bit of a reality check. So you have been living in the lap of luxury ever since you got married. Mm -hmm. How many properties have you actually been in to see? Uh. I've only seen two mm -hmm. and then I gave up. I've struggled, yeah. but maybe Sunder's more realistic. Yeah. Sunder, how unrealistic do you think your wife is? <laughs> uh, she can be very unrealistic at times. <laughs> After a week, I do get over it. I think we've got to get the torture started, because yeah. the sooner we break into the reality of what we can get, the sooner we can get to the other side of that. Yes, time is ticking. We better start. <laughs> yep, that bulldozer's only getting closer. Demanding they may be, but during their rent-free living, these two have saved hard and have 300 to 330 grand for a house with up to five bedrooms, three reception rooms and a garden for Sunder to cultivate his stripes. And preferably not too far from Rinku's family in Northampton. How did you get on? You just met them. Ooh. Ooh, I'm feeling it. I'm thinking with my witchy ways. I'm thinking... He says she's the tricky one. I bet it's 50-50. I'm feeling a little bit hard done by because they've been searching for 18 months and now they've given me a timetable of two months before the baby arrives. Well, they're never going to be in a new home before the baby arrives. They're just taking you out for a ride to see if you can find them something they couldn't find. I'll be able to do that. Yeah, clip-clop. Come on, Phil, giddy-up. With that vote of confidence, it's time to trot off to my first property. I'm taking Steve and Sally seven miles south of Stratford to the village of Upper Quinton, and I'm confident this charming chain-free house on the edge of the village green will work for their tight timescales. 16th century, detached, it's quite a big house. What are your first thoughts? It's very picturesque. It's lovely. It's nice, I like the area. All we can hear is birdsong. Hope the inside gives them something to chirp about. Indeed, it should. Both reception rooms are packed with traditional features. The four bedrooms are perhaps a bit small, but that's the price of period. For the man who needs to work from home, Steve will love the study, complete with view of a south-facing garden. And it's bang on budget at £475,000. Straight into a big reception room. How do you feel about this in terms of its character and size? I like the beams, I like the fireplace. I agree, yeah, it's lovely. Very nice feel. Good. Good start. And through to the dining room. Another fine place. Yeah. Lovely. And it leads through to the kitchen. What do you make of that? Nice farmhouse kitchen. Probably needs a little bit of updating. Yeah. It's just a little bit smaller than I probably hoped it would be. Hopefully the upstairs will seduce them. This is the master bedroom. Nice and light. Slightly smaller. We'd struggle to get our furniture in here, definitely. You could open it up with us. There's a shower through there. Um, so you could open it up, but you'd lose the shower. They're struggling with size, but seem to be forgetting that the one thing that's got smaller is their budget. Might need a new bathroom in here, but at least it's got a shower. Sally and Steve have got a very long list of requirements. There's no doubt they've got themselves in a bit of a pickle in terms of timing, and I'm not convinced that that has actually hit home yet. It's nice and light, but you have to watch your head. This house delivers on character and location but I suspect the space they can get on their new budget has been a surprise. I really like the property overall. Nice character. It looks good from the outside. The location is lovely. Yeah, very good. What did you think of the bedrooms? My initial thoughts were that they were small. Storage probably lacking a little bit upstairs. A couple of things yeah, need it? updating. But yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Somehow, I don't think nice is going to cut it. Yes, more space needed, Pip. And that means more searching for you. We're catching up with two couples searching in and around the Midlands who are facing very different time pressures. 
Rinku and Sunda were keen to secure a new home before their current one met its demolition date. And Steve and Sally were just a couple of months away from two becoming three and had left it a bit late to find a new home. Rinku and Sunda have been living rent-free in a family home, but it's being raised to the ground in three months' time, so we need to kick-start their Northamptonshire search. Crick, with its traditional properties and country village feel, is one of their top locations. I know Rinku and Sunda would prefer a house with character, but they come at a price, so to give them the space they want in budget, I've had to compromise. First impressions are, it doesn't look very pretty. I will tell you now, it is one of the worst laid out houses I have ever seen. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> okay. That's a good start. Yeah, it's a good. Mm. But it is not a problem. So we're going to stand here for a second and we're going to say, after me, Anything is possible. Anything is possible. I will reject all my prejudices. I will reject any of my prejudices. Right. Okie doke. Brilliant. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> a novel way to start a viewing, Kirsty. I think those expectations are well and truly lowered. I've got them right where I want them, because this house is a development dream. With just a few walls to knock down, it'd be goodbye higgledy-piggledy layout and hello handsome open plan living. Upstairs has bags of potential too. Four bedrooms, a lounge, and there's even a dressing room. Compared to their current place, this doesn't have a lot of charm, but it has so much space. If they have the vision, it could be a brilliant buy. Priced at just under 280 grand, it's 50,000 pounds under budget, which would leave them scope to open up the downstairs rooms. Pretend you can see through that wall. By taking down the walls between the lounge, dining room and kitchen, Rinko and Sunda would have a big kitchen living area, making full use of the French doors onto the garden. Bit more positive or negative, honest, honest? Space-wise, it's good. Yeah. And is there any lawn area? You can make that lawn. It's expensive, but it's not impossible. I genuinely believe you might be the people that have the vision for this house, because size-wise, it's enormous. You have now seen less than 50% of the downstairs space. I'm not sure Rinku's sharing your enthusiasm, Kirsty. See, this is another huge room. It has the potential to be a real kick-ass house. Yeah. Tell me truthfully, are you feeling a little cheerier at this point? You probably are. I'm not. She rejected all her prejudices on the doorstep, but now Rinku's inside. It's a different story. It's the third bedroom. This is the third one? Yeah. It's a hard sell, this house. Most people wouldn't have the vision for it. But it is a corker and it could be fantastic. Mm. I'd only pay 150 for this house, because I just think it's disgusting. <laughs> I don't think even we can get that kind of a deal. Hopefully Sunder feels differently. Can you, either of you, imagine yourselves living in this house? No. No. I just can't get over how it looks from the outside. I mean, certainly I'm not shy off the work and, you know, what's involved, but I don't want to have a lawn. In terms of space and light yeah. mm. and potential, yeah. this sets a very high bar. Looks like this one isn't enough of a bobby dazzler. But some lucky person is going to get a whole lot of house, and I hope Rinku and Sunda have started to understand what their money can actually get them. Over in Warwickshire, Steve and Sally weren't tempted by my first character house in Upper Quinton, so I'm taking them to Warmington, another lovely location with village green, pond, and something else they've asked for right on the doorstep. Steve, I remember somebody saying they wanted to be near a village pub. Well, there it is, about two doors up. You can't get much closer than that, thank you. And that's the house that we're here to see. Fantastic. Looks lovely. If the last house felt a little dated, then this stylish cottage with two reception rooms and three double bedrooms should have all the bling thereafter. There's no fourth bedroom for Steve's home office, but this loft has bags of potential. There's a lovely back garden with plenty of play space for their dogs. And priced at £450,000, it's 25 grand under budget. This is lovely. lovely, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I love the doors that open outside. It's got a nice feel to it, it's spacious. It's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for, isn't it, kitchen-wise? Mm. It's an easy room to love, but the garden might take a little more vision if that 18-month search is going to end here.
You've got the nice kind of sun trap with barbecue and a bit of entertaining social space. Lovely. But it leads through, and there's grass and sheds and trampolines and what have you down further there. back. How do you feel about this? It's an odd layout, actually. Yeah. The actual size project. of it's good. I've got to confess, I agree with you. The size of it is, is quite good. The layout is a little... Might need a bit just, of cheeking. Yeah, it just takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah. But upstairs, I don't think there will be any problems with the layout. Oh, this is very nice. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And I've got a master plan to create that study space for Steve. Steve you're up. Converting this loft to create a large bedroom, including the staircase and dormer window, could be done for 20 grand. It'd be a smart solution for guests and add value in a location where decent-sized properties don't stay on the market for long. I see this more of a, a guest room and ensuite mm. rather than an office. But if you were to change the roof yeah. and push that out that way, you'd enjoy the view yeah. and you'd, um, you'd have a lot more space. No, good idea. But it's going to cost more. Yes. They're saying all the right things. It's got a nice flow to the house, isn't it, from the kitchen straight through. I like yeah. it. But I think Steve really wants that office, and I'm not sure extending the loft is quite what he had in mind. The fourth bedroom yeah. is obviously the, the major factor here. So in order for it to be somewhere you could expand, it would necessitate doing the loft? Yeah. Yeah, I think we'd, we'd have to do that. Well, food for thought, anyway. Yes. They don't sound ready to commit to this one, Phil. Nope, and right now, I'm just hoping they'll be ready to commit to any house. Over in Northamptonshire, Rinku and Sunda have between 300 and 330 grand to spend on their next home, and I'm sure they'll fall for my next charming house. Morsley is a modern village 14 miles north of Northampton, made up of more than 900 new build properties. But I'm not sure how Rinku and Sunda will feel about being a little further out. So I've called in some moral support. <laughs> Don't look so worried. She's seen a ghost. <laughs> what is the ghost? The area. This is a fantastic development. Really good community. Yes, it's new, but it's been very, very successful. W what do you think of the look of the place? It's nice compared to the last one, which was yeah. just ugly. But my only doubt is the area. Well, if Rinku doesn't like the house, I'm sure we'll soon know. If she can get over her postcode prejudice, this three-storey house gives them the space they want without knocking down walls. The dining kitchen would make a fantastic space for socialising with their large families. And each of the five bedrooms and two reception rooms are in excellent nick. Priced at 310 grand, it's everything they've asked for, including a little something for Sunda. Out the window, you will see this thing called grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. A mower is required. Yes. A big plus for you. One tick. But this house has a lot more going for it than horticulture. Additional reception space. And then this is your more formal dining area. What are you feeling? Inside, I can't fault it at this stage. But still, at the back of my mind, I've got the whole area. I am going to take Rinku upstairs. Keep at it, Kirsty. She's a tough nut, but Rinku's starting to crack. From the back here, you get a really good perspective of the house and quite what a size it is. It is very generous. Plenty of bathrooms, plenty of wardrobe space. Oh, that, that will win Rinku over, <laughs> hopefully. Yes. Is it taking a little while for her to adjust to being out of the comfort zone? Definitely. She needs to take time buying houses. It is quite stressful for everybody. Yes, most often for Phil and me. Look, he's got really big furniture in here. And then here we've got dressing area and your shower room. Really good space. Really good space. Yeah. Oh, you're looking very cheery. No, I'm feeling a little bit better now. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so... I am feeling a bit more positive. It seems Rinku is really coming round to this place. This is another bathroom. Wow. You'd have to get rid of all this. It's a bit old school. Well, you know, it's just the tiles. Yeah. No, and the bathroom. <laughs> Renovation talk is good news for their search, bad news for Sunda's weekends. Such a strong house, this one. It's the area. She's... But it's a good area. Oh, yeah. it's just, she doesn't know. She's just the unfamiliar area. with it, so it's going to take a little bit of time. It's got a lovely atmosphere, this place. Maybe that's you and your magic wand, Phil. You've just come in, waved your twinkle dust around. It tends to happen, doesn't it? Yeah, I must admit it does. So has the fairy godfather's spell done the trick? 
the Howers certainly have a lot to offer. Yeah, I just need to get my head around the area. Maybe I'm being a bit vain, but I'd need to check with other people to see what they thought about. Mosley. We just need the advice, hmm. the perspective. You've got the advice. <laughs> no, I know, oh, yes, I know where you're coming from. All sorts of new areas can have prejudices against them. Yeah. At least it's pretty from the outside. So that's well, a plus. There you are. That was a good start. I'm leaving relieved, not just because you've seen a lovely house, but Kirsty's actually talking a whole bunch of sense. <laughs> <laughs> if you say for a change, you will be in no. a lot of trouble. <laughs> it's making really good sense. Pearls of all sort wisdom, always available, Pip. No charge. I'm midway through Stephen Sally's search, and as my third house, north of Stratford, in the village of Wooten Wowen, is also the biggest, I'm bringing Kirsty and her pearls of wisdom along with me. With walkways and paddocks nearby and a great gastro pub in the village, this location is perfect for their lifestyle. Now, this is a lot more house for a lot less money. It doesn't quite have the character or the finish, but the position is great and the size is great. I think it looks quite nice. I like the, the setting, lots of walks on the uh, doorstep. This house is not as smart as the last, but it does have four bedrooms, so all the space thereafter inside, plus a truly stunning garden. The interior, which needs a little TLC, may not appeal at the moment, but I'm confident the price will. At 425 grand, it's a whopping 50,000 pounds under budget. Come on into the main room. What, what do you feel? It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, actually. A lot more spacious. Outside, the feeling was not great. Yeah. I like the location, I think it's fantastic, but the, the look of the place doesn't, doesn't warm me as well. Yeah. Mm. As Steve doesn't like the outside, I doubt he'll lose his heart to this dated kitchen. But he needs to keep an open mind. At this price, he could afford a whole new one. You could easily have something here, uh, open up this bit, done. Bob's your uncle, much better kitchen sitting room. I mean, that's, there's we, a lot of space out there. There's a lot of space and out there. And a lot there. of light. It's what? worth thinking about, isn't it? Steve's gone a bit quiet. I'm not convinced that he has grasped the urgency of this search, but I think Sally may be seeing the potential. This is the master bedroom, which is actually really good size. It's decent and size, yeah. Have you seen prices differ in the time that you've been looking. They're creeping up, yes. Yeah. That's the thing that worries me. Babies can be kept in chest of drawers and born anywhere. You could find yourself six months from now looking at things which weren't as good as the things that you're seeing now. Trying to stay calm. That's very good. But let's not forget we're three houses down and sometime soon one of these two needs to make a decision on a property or their baby might end up in that chest of drawers after all. This is very strange. From the front of the house, um, I was very sceptical. Mm. The back of the house, the garden, it, it looks significantly... You know, it's a, it's a different setup altogether. How are you feeling about this baby business and moving house at the same time? I think it'll be a challenge. Sally seems um, quite relaxed about things. She seems quite open-minded. She's ready, taking yeah. it very in a stride, yeah. yeah. it's really good. I think uh, the, the house thing's probably stressing me out a little bit more than her. I think she's on baby, baby stress, and I'll take the house stress. Yeah, there's a lot to happen all at the same time. Yeah, I think we'll have a lot more luggage. <laughs> you will have a lot need, more luggage. We need more storage space than we've currently got. Well, Steve, then this house, the biggest we've seen, should be just the one for you. Sound advice from a seasoned pro. All right, sweet cheeks. How are you? I'm a little bit confused. No, I don't think it's confusing. I think that they don't have the urgency. You would have thought if they were having a baby, there would be some urgency, but I don't feel it. Wasting my time. That happens quite often, though. <laughs> <laughs> and these two don't have much time to waste. Well, the dogs would like it. There's lots of space, isn't there, for them uh, running around? It's nice and room. safe as well, isn't it? Contained for the dogs and the baby. Yeah, they'd love it here. It's, it's the first house we've seen with some proper garden. Fingers crossed their wander round has helped them to get the measure of this massive plot. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Overall, certainly warmed Warm up. Warm into it a yeah, bit. certainly warmed up. Are you still looking for the thing which really knocks you between the eyes? I'd love to be knocked between the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> well, not something to say to Phil right now. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do it for you, Steve. <laughs> I'm not sure you're allowed to do that, Phil. <laughs> OK, gloves off, back to the matter in hand. So it looks like this one could be a strong contender, but only if they're willing to do the work. And that will take time. And time's a ticking. 
This week, we're back with two couples in the Midlands who were both racing against the clock to find their perfect home. Steve and Sally were expecting a baby, while Rinku and Sunda were expecting the bulldozers. Rinku and Sunda have been living for three years in a place owned by their family, but it's set to be demolished in three months' time. They've seen two houses. They hated the look of the first. This will need to be ripped out completely. Yeah. And the location of the second. In the back of my mind, I've got the whole area. So I'm pulling out all the stops with a handsome house in Cold Ashby, a location Rinku likes. But it's my last chance and even the weather is against me. I think it has got everything they want. And I'm really crossing my fingers. Good morning. Morning. This stylish five-bed home has all the space they've asked for. The kitchen, diner and sitting room, which look onto a lovely lawn, are perfect for entertaining. And should they need more reception space, there's a separate annex in the garden. But getting everything on their list in a charming location doesn't come cheap. Priced at just under £325,000, this house is at the top end of their budget. Ooh. What are the feelings on the location? Positive. Positive. Com nice location. Yeah, compared to yesterday, I oh, feel yeah. more upbeat. Thank goodness, because for some reason I don't cope well with failure. Kitchen, really nice. Very nice. Spacious. Yep. And I think the mood is only improving, Kirsty. This is actually a really nice big room. Yeah. It's got a proper fire. It's lovely fireplace, yeah. Could work. Be good to see what upstairs yeah. have to yeah. offer. Go, go and have a look upstairs mm -hmm. and then shout if you want any, anything from me. OK. Hopefully upstairs it will stay upbeat. Bedroom number one. Oh. That's um, ensuite. That's what we wanted. Suite. Got a lovely view from here. And garden's a good size for yeah. you to maintain as well. But all this space costs, so that means compromise. What about financially? Yeah, we'll have to just um, see what uh, we can do. Uh, maybe less shopping for you and less takeaways for me. No holidays. Know. Yeah, no holidays for two years. No, one year. For one year, yeah. One year I can handle. For one year. Looks like Rinku has negotiation skills to match yours, Kirsty. It's a good strong house. Part of me thinks when you're young, you should buy the one that might be available around 250 and do it up. But that's just me. I'm really an old skinflint. But I think these two want to seal the deal on this one. I think it's a sign from God, isn't it? But not without a little advice, of course. Mum, it's me. Can you come at one o'clock then to see the house? It's really nice. Uncle's just said yes, he can make it as well. Excellent. So that's good. So, what do you think, having seen upstairs? Amazing. Honestly, it's so nice. Yeah. I just feel like it's our house that's just been plotted in this village. I'm 100% as yeah. long as when my mum and uncle see it, yeah. then I'll feel happy. I think we've nailed it, but this search was tough enough when there were two to convince. Now it's four. Is it double trouble for me? You'll just have to wait and see, Kirsty. But with the location, the garden and all this space, I think Winku and Sunda's family will be struggling not to fall for this place just as hard as they have. This is the kitchen diner. That's really nice, isn't it? A lot of light, isn't it? There are a lot of windows to get yes. that brings the light. Yeah. A house this size could very well last Rinku and Sunda and their relations the rest of their lives. What do you think, then? It's nice. Uh, it is nice. Yeah. Yeah, like upstairs. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! <laughs> it seems the whole family are giving this place top marks. Yeah, I can see you're living here. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's all about price now. we better get on with it. 50 miles away in Warwickshire, the clock is ticking for Sally and Steve, who want a new home before their baby arrives in a couple of months. Despite the charm of the first two properties, they were just too small. So we're back for a second look at property number three, the 1940s semi-detached in Wooten Wooen. It's a super spacious house, but it will take a bit of work to make it their dream home. I'm still not sure quite how this is going to go. It's not quite what they had in mind, so whether they'll actually be able to commit to it today or not, only time will tell. Morning, you two. Good morning. morning. I've invited local builder Mick Dorgan along to help them see how they could give the house some razzle-dazzle. 
It's 50 grand under budget, so they can afford to do work. One of the things when we were here yesterday was talking about improving this kitchen. Yes. Could you give us a, a ballpark idea of cost? Well, knocking through and building an extension would be £20,000. That's not too bad. The kitchen, again, ranging from minimum six up to 16. So looking at around 30 for the... Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. So has this second viewing given the many second thoughts? What was the ensuite like? It's a good size. It probably needs refitting, but... It's one of our, our must It takes all the boxes, so doesn't it? Yeah, spot on. I was worried all that talk of money and timescales might put them off. But they actually seem to be giving it some serious consideration. With the clock ticking on baby's arrival, they really can't afford to hang around. So, what do you want to do about it? <laughs> I'm not good at making decisions. I think we should go for it. It's exactly what we didn't want at the start of this process. It is. Yeah. Don't love it in the state it's in at the moment, but we could do. If we bought it, did all the work to it, would we love it then? It's location. Yeah, location's great, size is great. And you're never going to get everything. But at some point, you're going to have to go... I know I hate making decisions, but actually, we need <laughs> to sort this out. Yeah. No, I think we should do it. I think it's the right thing to do. We can get it for a good price. Let's do it. What should we go in at? 400? I think we start, start negotiations uh -huh. low, yeah. It's been a long journey for my pair, but now they've finally reached a decision on a house, I need to clinch this deal. Good afternoon. Can I speak with Borgia, please? We've just had our second viewing, and um, my clients, they do like the house very much. We are struggling justifying the asking price at 425,000. So the offer I've got for you today is for 400,000. Great. Cheers. Bye-bye. Now, all we can do is wait. Rinku and Sunder have fallen for my priciest Northamptonshire property. At just under £325,000, the cold Ashby House is at the top of their budget. So we've been crunching the numbers and they've decided to submit an offer. Ten grand under the asking price. So, yeah, I think we'll be comfortable with 315 As the agent is heading out, I need to get straight on the telephone. Richard, hi. I have spoken to my client and they have come up with the following proposal. They are prepared to exchange immediately. They're chain free, they're not selling anything as long as they can get the house for, and, and this is the crux, for 315000 But it's not the answer we'd hoped for. Right. OK, bye. That was very fun. Mm. And that means that the client has a preset lowest limit, and he said we don't come anywhere close to it. It's disappointing news, especially for Rinku, who's lost her heart to this house, but she's not the only one. They've got two viewings on Saturday. He said, okay. in a rising spring market, my client has every confidence of getting the asking price. Now that they realise they have competition for their dream house, the reality of it all is hitting hard. We'll have to have a, th a bit of think about yeah. this. Yeah. And, um, just to see uh, really what you know we'll mm. be comfortable of being. Over in Warwickshire, it's tense times for Steve and Sally. Okay, cheers. Bye bye. Four hundred has been declined. Okay. Uh, and he says that she would accept four ten. Probably means she'd probably take a little bit less. I'd like to think so, yes, Steve. <laughs> Can we be cheeky? I'd suggest coming up with a figure that's north of the 405. Split the difference? Yeah. 750? 407 and a half it is. Yeah. Yeah. Borgia, good afternoon. We've had a bit of a debate this end. This is the front runner, and they do very much like it, but it is going to cost them, well, how long to piece of string it. With that in mind, the increased offer is 407 and a half. Right. He was a bit disappointed. See what happens. How are you feeling, Sally? Good. A little nervous. Exciting, but nervous at the same time. Mm. This could be the end of an 18-month search. Hello, Phil Spencer. Hello, Borgia. Hi. Can I pass that message on? And uh, I'll get back to you. Well... You're buying a house. <laughs> well done. Thank Four, you. Oh, seven Thank, and you. And a half. Thank you very much. Accepted. Congratulations. <laughs> well,
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Champagne for everyone. One happy couple. But could we make it two? With their first offer rejected, Rinku and Sunda need to decide just how hard they've fallen for the five-bed house in Cold Ashby. It's on at just under 325 grand, and with others interested, it will take all they have to secure it. I think we can reconsider, I suppose, our offer, and we can look at perhaps, you know, um, going straight for the kill. Paying the asking price. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, if you think that that's not sensible... I think we should ring him, say, asking price, nobody sees around it, done, finished. You have to be off the market, there's no that's more it. viewing, mm -hmm. and have to be agreed straight away. Straight away, yeah. They both desperately want this house, and with their current one being demolished in just three months, I hope I can secure it for them in time. Richard, it's Kirsty. If someone were to make an asking price offer, would the viewings on Saturday be stopped? I would like to officially make an asking price offer. Right. Right, I understand that. No, I completely understand. OK, bye. She shoots, she scores. What a result. Yes. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations. We've got a house okay. now. One fabulous family home fit for their future. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Two dream homes for two lovely sets of house hunters. And just in the nick of time before the bulldozer and the baby arrives. <laughs> well, almost. Ten weeks on, Steve and Sally are still renting. But things are proceeding smoothly, with planning permission already granted for their renovations. As of 11 days ago, though, they no longer have just a bum. Now we've got our little baby Dexter. Very small little fella, but um, perfectly formed, as they say. Causing lots of chaos. Loving it. They hope to exchange very soon and move once they've extended out into the conservatory to create an open plan kitchen and living space. I think what Kirsty and Phil showed us is what we could actually do with the property to change it. Having somebody else help us points in a direction where, which we wouldn't have looked at otherwise. So it was a massive step change for us, which was a, a real benefit. Rinko and Sunder's sale went through without any hitches and the couple got straight to work putting their own stamp on the place. All the decoration with the painting and the wallpapering were done with friends and family. Almost a year on, and the couple are all settled in. We've made quite a few cosmetic changes. We painted the whole house, we changed the carpet, changed the flooring. We made a few men's in the kitchen, such as worktops and sinks and obviously feature walls as well by putting wallpaper in the living room and the master bedroom. And Sunder's been putting his green fingers to the test. The garden was uh, very important for me and uh, when we walked into this house, I was pleased to see some green grass outside there, unlike the first house that we saw. Obviously, it's an ongoing uh, project, shall we say, to make it greener and healthier than what it is. But it's not just the decorating and gardening that's been keeping them both busy. Daddy, Daddy. Seven weeks ago, Rinku gave birth to a beautiful baby boy, Rowan. <laughs> Having a baby is a new experience for both of us. Look at you. What are you looking at? I'm currently on maternity leave for six to nine months, which is a great time to spend with a baby. And um, Sunda managed to take some time off as well, which was great. It's been an absolute joy really enjoy it, so happy, and he's a beautiful baby as well. With one of the four spare bedrooms earmarked for Rowan, Rinku's already planning on filling the rest. Hopefully one of the rooms will become my walk-in wardrobe. That's my <laughs> dream, basically. <laughs> nice to see some things haven't changed. So we definitely see this as a long-term house, at least 10 to 15 years. At the moment, you know, we have a new arrival who's seven weeks old. Hopefully in the future, you know, we have uh, a couple more uh, to fill the house, shall we say? <laughs> One more. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Sunda. Best wait for the baby dust to settle first. 
But of course, family is particularly important to these two, and getting their seal of approval on the right house was crucial. And now that they've moved in, it's great to see it's still getting the thumbs up. The family loves this house, actually, I think. Since we've moved here, people have come more often. Our family is the utmost important for both of us, and uh, we like to have them around. So the space is vital for us, really. We've got babysitters on the doorstep. We've got Sunda's family down the road and my parents as well, which is great. I think that without Kirsty's help, uh, we'll still be searching for our property. And uh, even if we did, perhaps we might not have found uh, such a lovely house in this uh, great location. And we couldn't have asked for anything more than that. Lovely to see this couple now settled as a family. And a year on, so, I can't wait to see if Steve and Sally are just as happy. <laughs>、Manic. Steve and Sally were quick to recognise the potential on offer with this house for its price. Very well. How are you? Good, thank you very much. Nice, nice to, to see, see you both. But to get it the way they wanted, they faced juggling a new baby with a big building project. Not easy with Sally living at their old place in Berkshire and Steve on the road with work. Hopefully, it's a bit different to last time you saw it. It is very different to last time I saw it. So you did open it all the way through? We did. We,、uh, we thought we'd try and let in as much light as possible and,、oh, and yeah, possible. knock it all through. Wow. The house has been extended at the back to create a spacious living and dining area. Do you recognise it? <laughs> no, not really. Good. With the addition of a downstairs toilet and utility room. Gosh, transformed. Giving the family all the space they need. It's a big project. Very big project. Much bigger than we thought it was going to be originally. Given that you were heavily pregnant at the time as well. Yeah, it was a difficult one to paint holding a baby. And,、yes. you know. Tell me about the build. Well, the extension, as you can see, it's, it's, it's quite big. The highlight for me is the skylight. Yes, absolutely. Just, just really opens up the room, so we're really, really pleased with that. So you have changed everything? Yes, we've literally changed everything floors, ceilings, walls, etc. How long did it take?、Um, from start to finish, Probably about three months, three and a half months. I'd say that's, that's pretty good going. What did it cost? Lots. Okay. He's the budget man. Okay. <laughs> I'm not surprised because it looks absolutely stunning. And we did manage to buy the house quite well on a budget as well. We did. It was, it, it, there was money there to spend,、yeah. which we knew we'd spend, but、yeah. we, we spent it all at once.、Mm. It would have been a very busy time for you. Yeah, planned chaos. Yeah, yes. So we thought <laughs> we, we, we got it all done in one hit. Yeah. So now we can enjoy it. Now you're relaxing. Although I'm not sure there's that much relaxing with a nine month old baby. A priority for Steve was a decent office space for when he works from home. I've ended up here with a, with a great view of、yes. a hedge. <laughs> well, you've、so、got a view. So it's not quite the countryside I was looking、yeah. for, but it, it, it does what it needs to do. Yeah. And you're still working from home two or three days a week, are you? Yeah, probably a couple of days a week, then I'm away a couple of days. So、mm. uh, that hasn't changed, which means.、Uh, when... But it's nice. When you're home, you're, you know, Sally and Dexter here as well. Oh, it's fantastic. It,、yeah. was, it was pretty tough when I was away when all the building work was going on.、Mm. Uh, just because you want to be on top of it all the time and you can't be. You had plenty of boxes. It ticks up most of the boxes that we had for you. you. You have ticked. Mind you, of course, the one that you didn't have was a big building project, which you did end up well, taking. That, that was a whole box I didn't realise we wanted. So,、um, yeah, thank you for that. That was great. <laughs> well, it's worked out well. It, we think so. Yeah, we're happy. Of course, the main reason for Steve and Sally's move was really about someone I've still to meet. And here is the man himself. Hello, Dexter. It was all about you. <laughs> Kirsty was worried you were going to be living in a cupboard drawer or something, wasn't she? <laughs> no, he's got his own room now. Is he doing well? Yeah, he's doing really well. He's growing day by day. And you're nice and close to parents? Oh, yes, parents are here quite often. So actually, it's all. Fallen into place. Yeah. Took a bit of time, cost a bit of money. Got there in the end.、Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Can I have a cuddle? Will he cuddle? Does he cuddle? Ow! Ow! <laughs> you still sitting on me. It was a big move for Steve and Sally with a new baby to a whole new area, but it seems to have worked out. 
Here they've got the countryside setting, great transport links, and of course, a decent pub, which I'm happy to test. This is where we did the deal, wasn't it? We did ask you for the pub, didn't we? Yeah. So um, you gave, you delivered. I did. Your wish was my command. It was massively important in the first few months because we didn't have any uh, phone line at the house or Wi-Fi or reception. So um, I was able to come here legitimately with my <laughs> laptop and, um, <laughs> and do some work and get the Wi-Fi yeah. reception. So that's we on. believe you. We believe you. <laughs> And how have you found settling into a new area with, with the baby and how's that all gone? Yeah, really good actually. I've met lots of people going to baby groups and Dexter's out swimming. He's got a great social life. He's out doing all sorts of things every day. <laughs> Given the year that you've had and all that you've learned along the way, was it the right decision? Yeah, yeah. I think we'll be here for the, certainly for the, uh, for the foreseeable. medium term. Yeah. It feels a bit like the circle of life, I think. You start <laughs> in the pub, house, baby, <laughs> renovations. And now, now you celebrate it all. I can enjoy it. Well done. Well, Many congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for your help. Thanks, thanks for having me back. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers, Dexter. Steve and Sally have done a tremendous job. With a bit of a nod from us, they took on a project, but boy, has it paid off. Rinku and Sunder, they're also really settling into family life now. So I guess it just goes to show that when there's a ticking clock, Sometimes it pays just to take the plunge.